Hey, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How was your weekend? Um, a little bit sick. Oh, no. But it was, but it was funny. And are you taking medicine? Yes, yes. The last Friday I went to the doctor mm -hmm. because I I feel so bad. But I today I feel so better, Tisha. On weekend it was terrible. I have a sore throat too, and my muscle I feel so a little bit tired, maybe. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. What about you, teacher? Pretty good weekend. I had a chance to relax, went out with the family, enjoyed some times. It was nice. It was nice to be able to have a good weekend. So great. Mm -hmm. So good, so good. I see they, they have the TV very loud in your house. Yeah. Who do you Did live you Sorry, teacher. It's okay. Who do you live with? Do you have a wife, children? Yeah, yeah, both. Ah, okay. I, yeah, I'm, uh, with my wife and my siblings. Mm -hmm. Sophia is 22 years old. Luis is 17 years old, and Daniela is 15 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's in the church just right now, I think so. Oh. She, ret she returned at 8 30, maybe. Yeah, maybe in, in church or no? Yeah, started at six thirty mm -hmm. because because she has classes and they change the, the schedule from six uh, at six thirty until eight p.m. One hour and a half. Wow, but is, is the church is close to your house or it's yeah, it's, no, it's close. It's uh to mm, four blocks maybe mm -hmm. yeah it's close that's important and after church uh, she goes walking home somebody goes to drop her off or would you go and pick her up or what oh, no she came or returned with with his her mother yeah okay that's uh -huh. right so it's good so she goes with with your wife they go together to church yeah yeah it's true that's very good. That's good that it's close to the house because it's safer. Yeah, it's safe. Today, in the, our neighborhood is so safety. Oh, yeah. you're lucky. Many places are, well, now it's a little bit safer in many neighborhoods, but before it was a little dangerous in many areas. Yeah, it was a crazy Our country was a little bit, uh, a lot of crazy people out of, out of the jail. No. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but oh, now yeah. now it's a, it's better. For example, when in my in my work, when I, I have to go another different cities, mm -hmm. and I have and I have to spend maybe six dollar daily uh, with the with this kind of people. Mm -hmm. Really, but, for the they yeah. ask you for money. Yeah. Yeah, I have to pay for work, but I have one year that, that I, I, I don't pay anything. Wow. Yeah, it's true. It was so difficult. But today I think that it's, it's a little bit safety. Yeah, $6 every day, it's a lot of money. It's yeah. in a yeah. month. Yeah, uh, it depends, maybe two, five, three, not ever the same price, but it's not. It's not the idea. It's not free. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's true. But today is better. I think so. Hey, I'm glad to hear that. That's great. Yeah. What happened with another classmate? I don't know what happened. Uh, here, here in my house, the, the light went down maybe 50 times in, <laughs> in 30 minutes, maybe. I don't know what wow. happened with it. I don't know what happened with the company. And it's not a rain. It's not raining just right now. I don't know what happened. Mm, what happened, Luisana? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Luisana. Good evening, Luisana. Good evening. No. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for connecting. 
I really appreciate it. Today we're gonna go ahead and continue. We are looking at the future. Remember that we were talking about last time was the future. So today we're gonna have the future. Uh, Nazario, I'm gonna put you on silence because the TV is very loud. It's like- uh, I'm really sorry, teacher. Oh no, no problem, no problem. But that way for the other classmates, that way it doesn't affect them. Thank you. Thank you, Nazario, thank you. So today we're looking at present continuous we're going to practice using it as future. If you remember, is ING. We're going to watch a small video just to help us remember because this was last week and maybe we forgot a little bit. So right now we're going to watch a little bit. Are you to doing anything remember. tomorrow? No, I'm not. Hi. So are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101, exercise three, grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. So remember, what is the difference? The difference is that in present continuous, you are going to use any verb in ing. So it can not necessarily be doing. For example, it can be, what are you eating tonight? What are you watching tonight? What are you reading? All of the different forms of verbs with ing. This is the difference with present perfect continuous. It's similar to going to. The two have the same ideas, the same meaning, only the structure is different. Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if this statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word, plus be, plus subject, plus verb, plus ing, plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word, plus be, plus subject, plus going to, plus infinitive verb, plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program. So now that we reviewed a little bit, remember always the verb to be ing. We're going to practice a little bit with our partners to make sure that we remember everything, okay? So right now in 5.4, we're going to use the present continuous as future. 
So we have to use the words that they give us, the pronouns and the verb. And we need to use it with the present continuous. In part two, we're gonna be using going to. So part one, present continuous, part two, be going to. The idea is the two are the same ideas, the future. Only the difference is which is the correct grammar for each one. It's okay, 5.4. It's okay, teacher. That's uh, clear. It's clear, great. Okay, so um, let's try a couple of groups. Luisiana, are you having some problems? Luisana. Luisana, always having problems, huh? Well, teacher, I cannot enter to the group. It's for the internet. 
uh, maybe for I connect in my cell phone. No. Maybe, Lisana. But it's okay. The important is we try. Sometimes you can participate, sometimes no. We try to we try to fix it. All right, here we go. Guys, we're ready? Number one. Yeah. What's number one? What are you doing tonight? Would okay. you like to go out? All right, good. What about number two? Are you are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you watch the movie? Okay, are you doing anything on Friday night? Good. Number three. We are having friends over for a barbecue barbe on Sunday court. Almost, all right. The uh, pronunciation is barbecue, barbecue. Thank you, teacher. Welcome, Anna. Okay, and would you and your parents like to come? Okay. <laughs> what about number four? What was number four? Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? Okay, good. Very nice. And part two, this is where we're using going to. So what would be number one? I am going to be here on Saturday, Saturday books, no Sunday, last week, and go on Saturday. And good. <clears throat> All right. What about number two? <clears throat> well, my father is going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I are going to be home. Very nice. Good. Number three. I'm going to work. Okay. Oops. I'll try one more. I am going to work. Excellent. And the last one, number four. I'm going to stay. I am going to stay. Very nice. Let's take a look. Hey, we can see. Great job. Are you doing? Are you doing very nice? Are having? Are you staying? We got it correct. Good. I'm going to be. Is going to visit. I'm going to work. And the last one, I'm going to stay. Okay. Great. So pretty easy, right? The important is just remember the correct structure. When we use going to and when we use the verb to be. Um, so now we're going to listen to a conversation between two people talking on the phone. Let's listen. What is the message? What do they talk about? What is the idea? Hello, everyone. In the conversation we're about to hear, Two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, let's take a look. First, are there any words, anything we're not clear about? All of them are okay? 
no one stitch. All right, pretty good, right? Now here we have, can I take a message? Now, the idea is always for like a reception or when somebody's not available and you want to give it. That's the idea for, can I take a message? So we're gonna practice this conversation with our partners. We're gonna be one time secretary, one time Mr. Kale. I have to be honest, and for me, it's a little blurry. It's not clear, the image. What about for you? I put in the WhatsApp, but- It's not clear, teacher. It's, it's not, not clear, clear for me. me. Yeah, it's a little- it's What a, I understand. Uh-huh. It, it's not the best picture, but we, we can try, okay? So yeah. that's what we're gonna practice. We're gonna practice simply the conversation, one time secretary, one time Mr. Kale, and then we switch. Then the other partner, Mr. Kell and the other partner, uh, the secretary. Only a few minutes because it's not a long conversation. So only about three minutes and then we try again. Um, let me just try to move a lot of partners that cannot speak today. So sometimes that makes it difficult. Hang on. Oyente, oyente, oyente. All right, I think we should be two in each group. We should be okay. Let me move. All right. Okay, so Luisana has problems again, right? Raquel, you have problems again too. Raquel, you okay? Francisca, you okay? You're just coming in, right?
Okay. It's okay? A little weird, the, the picture, but... No, nah, don't worry. Don't we, worry. It's so right? hard to read. A little bit, a little bit, yeah. So now what are we going to do? We're going to practice similar to the conversation. We are going to be in 5.7. So in 5.7, right there, the instructions. Jonathan, can you please read? Yeah. By the end of this session, we'll, you will be able to take and give a message using tell and ask. Great. Pronunciation, message. Message. Great. Now, what do you think is the difference between tell and ask? Tell is like an indication and oh. ask is an answer. Okay, similar, very good. So tell is like the instructions, correct. And ask is for information, a request, okay? So maybe <clears throat> I am Carla's boss. If I am Carla's boss, Please tell Carla to call me when she finishes. Ah, this is the order. But if Carla and I are co-workers or maybe I am a client, I say, ah, please ask Carla to call me. The difference is tell is normally somebody that is a supervisor or somebody in power to give the instructions. And ask is not give instructions. Ask is for request the ideas. So we're going to watch a small video about tell and ask, and then we are going to practice using it in conversations. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise eight, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two plus the request. Again, we use please, could you or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Let's continue. All right. So for us, the most important is this part. They give quite a big explanation. But for us, we just want to focus on this. And this is how we use tell or ask. As you can see, we use the same structures. Please tell. Uh, could you tell, would you tell, the same as please ask, could you ask, and would you ask. The difference is going to be the word to. When we use ask, we are going to use the word to. Ask him, ask her to, and then this is the request that you want, okay? So in the others, please tell uh, the person, for example, please tell Miguel, 
um, the meeting, not to. Please ask him to. This is the correct grammar. Many times you are going to hear people say, please tell him to call me. But the correct would be, please ask him to call me. Please tell him, call me after the meeting. It's okay, the difference? Yes. Yeah. All right. Good. So, as we can say, this is usually tell, person, and then the statement. That is not necessary, but it's very common. Okay. So, whenever we use tell, we're going to say the information. Whenever we're going to use the word ask, let me see if I can get it here. If we ever use the word ask, then it's going to be here. Okay. Ask the person and then the word to. This is the main difference between the two grammar points. So in this moment, we're going to imagine that you're calling someone, but they are not there as super easy example. Okay. Um, I call Carla, right? And I say, oh, Carla. Um, okay. Uh, can I speak to Miguel? Oh, Miguel is not here. Okay. Please ask Miguel to give me a call at eight o'clock. Or please tell me get to call me at eight o'clock. The two are correct. Only the difference is remember, ask Miguel to or tell Miguel, call me at eight o'clock. We're okay. All right. So very simple. Let's try it right now. We're not going to make the groups. Right now, we're going to practice the two different things. We're going to have it. Let's take a look. Uh, Ana Yamilet and Luisana Samoyoa. Hi. Hello, Luisana. Anna, go ahead. You can talk. Mm -hmm. Anna, Anna. You turn off your microphone again. Try speaking, Anna. Let's listen. Let's see if we can hear you. Anna, are you there? Are you having problems with the internet or with your microphone, Anna? Okay, I think Anna has some kind of technical problems because I don't hear anything. Okay. All right, let's try somebody else. Christina. All right, Christina and Luisiana. Try it again. Try the two of you. Christina. Hola, teacher. Um, no entendí muy bien que íbamos a hacer. Sorry. We're going to practice using tell and ask. So you and Luisana, go ahead, try it. Hola. Hello. Um, Cristina, ¿verdad? Hello. Cristina is with you. Cristina. Hola. Sí, Luisiana te dijo Cristina. Hello, Cristina. Cristina, are you there? ¿Estás teniendo un problema, Cristina? Okay, another person with problems. Okay, so, Cristina. Okay. 
Aquí, teacher, ya me va la interna. Ah, ok, ok. Don't worry, Chris. O sea que no, no estás escuchando la clase. La está... <risa> Se me va el inter. Ok, Cristina, no problem. Se explico. Ok, don't worry, Cristina. It, sometimes it happens. Sí. All right. So, interesting, interesting. Ok, let's try. Francisca, wow. Let's try. Vamos por la tercera. Si no, let's, go, let's continue. <laughs> Francisca, Luisana, try it. Tell and ask. Ok. Hi, Luisana. How are you? Uh, hi, Francisca. I'm fine. Um, you ask. You ask um for that sorry okay you are... don't worry <laughs> can you tell me about the new birthday for example um Could you understand the the answer? Uh, I can do. I can hear you. Okay, I see that today is a bad day for the internet. <laughs> be careful. We have to be careful with the internet. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Thank you, Francisca. Thank you, Luisana. Let me explain a little bit. Okay. So today we use tell and ask to give information, to ask for requests. So for another person, not direct. So example with Nazario, I tell Nazario, yeah. uh, could you ask, could you tell, but not for Nazario, Nazario the secretary, Nazario the receptionist. This is the idea for another person, okay? Yes. Okay. So is example. Can Nazario? Can you ask Jonathan to call me? Can you tell Jonathan to call me? Okay. We can use these different forms. This is the idea for ask and tell. So I can say, Nazario, can you ask Jonathan what time the meeting is? Okay. Or where is the meeting? The meeting is at 7.30 a.m. This is the idea, but I don't ask Nazario. Is I make the request for Nazario to the other person. This is the idea of tell and ask. You can say, uh, for example, I'm going to tell her the meeting is at 8.30. Exactly, Whatever. exactly. But it's not for me, it's for the other person. This is the idea. This is for the third person, okay? Because I'm taking the messages. Correct. You only take the message or give the message. That's it. Hmm? Teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yes. In the case that tell is same. The same as? As ask. Uh -huh. Is the same. Is similar. Remember. The, the difference is ask is question, tell is inform. Luisana, do you have children? Yes. Okay, so Luisana, do you tell the children to clean the room or do you ask the children to clean the room? Um, I tell this is the difference this is the difference between tell and ask okay it's clear Luisana uh, so, so, teacher. Sweet, and, for, so. and for homework in, in the same sample t-shirt that you are using uh, for in, in this case with uh, Luisana with the children she can ask ask her or asking to the children for the homework. Yeah, I asked I ask my son for the homework. Exactly, not tell the home, your son for the homework. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. 
Is better, Luisana? Mm, yes, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, so we try. Great. So let's take a look and try now. So now that we have a little bit better, we're going to try to use it. Let's take a look. Here we have. Okay, we're going to see which is correct. Could you tell or could you ask? With your partners, we have five questions. Very easy, only multiple choice. And make the selection. Well, let's do together. That way we don't have to make the groups. Let's try together. It's better. Okay. Here, let's look at number one. What do you think is the best one? Ask or tell? The second teacher. Could you tell Joel? Could you tell Joel that the movie is at seven? Yeah. Okay. What about number two? Number two, gold you ask, ask, ask me. Would you Number ask me? Would you ask me to pick me up at home around four p.m.? Okay, okay. What about number three? Number one, please tell Eva the concert on Saturday is canceled. Okay. Number four. Would you ask him to bring the ticket for the hockey game tonight? Okay. And the last one? Number, Number one. Would you tell mm -hmm. would you tell and the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning? Okay. Very nice. As you can see. We are understanding the correct structures between tell and ask. Any questions? No, 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 no. no. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. So now what are we going to do? We're going to make a small role play with our partners. So we're going to have a conversation. We're going to talk about it, okay? Imagine you are planning for Mother's Day, okay? You are planning an activity, okay? Or you're going to a party. Maybe you have to cancel it. So you're going to ask your partner to give the message that you can't go to the party, okay? So as an example, you can have different forms. I can say with Anna Yamilet, okay? Hi, Anna, how are you? Are you going to go to Carlos's party? Oh, yes, I am. And what about you, Edwin? Are you going to go? No, Anna, I, unfortunately, I have to work. Could you ask Carlos uh, or could you tell Carlos that I'm sorry that I can't attend? Okay. Could you ask Carlos how long the party is going to be? Maybe I can attend after work. This is the idea. We're going to try to use ask and tell in a conversation with our partners about different activities. It's okay or we have a question? It's okay? All right. Now we're gonna try and see if we can do it, prepare a role play and then we present. We have five minutes.
Okay. Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Excellent, excellent. All right, who's gonna try? Who's gonna go first? Which group? Hi, and Rodrigo. Okay. Okay. Well, hi, Rodrigo. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, thank you for asking. And you? I'm fine. Only I feel so tired at the beginning of the the week. But I have a question for you. Do you want to see the movie Guardians of the Galaxy with Chepe and me? Uh, no, I can't because uh, the, in the in the weekend I will uh, work every every weekend. Oh, that's bad. Could you tell Chepe that is the movie at 8 p.m.? Uh, yes, it's okay. I I will uh, tell here uh, in in our in I answer the uh, the Chepe uh, tell me in I will I will say the information. That's great. Please tell Chepe the movie on Saturday is in Cinepolis. Okay, it's okay. Uh, I will, I will say. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Oh, it's all. Hey, very good. Oh, good usage. Yeah, no, no, no. That's a great job. Mm -hmm. The idea for using say and tell. Good. Only a little bit of vocabulary, but very nice job. Great. Okay. So, who's the next one? Who's the next one? Teacher. Yes. Uh, tell and, and say is similar. No. They tell and say, yes. Tell and say are similar. Is correct. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Who's next? Who's next? Hey, don't be scared. You and your partners, go ahead. Me, teacher. Okay, excellent. And Lisanna and Christina, maybe. Okay. Try, girls. We can do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there you go. Tana, Christina, sorry. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you, Lisanna and Christina? Hi, Carla. Hello. Hi, Carla. Going, hi. Are you going to celebrate uh, Mother's Day? Yes, yes, I will. Yes. Can you tell me what time is the celebration? Uh, I think the celebration is on Friday at 10 p.m. Ladies, I'm sorry, I can't go. Oh, Christina, could you tell uh, Carla that we'll, we will meet in the park? Uh-huh. Sorry, girls, but I can go too. Uh, please, Christina, tell the teacher uh, I kill. I call her, please. I just I'll I'll tell. Um, come on. Okay. okay all right. <laughs> Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. You. You got very nervous. It's okay. Good job. Good job with the ideas and ask. That's why we practice. No problem. Good. Okay, one more, one more. Who else would like to try? Mm hmm We have a lot of people. Who else is next? Uh, 
Francisca, you ready? I'm sorry, teacher. We, <laughs> we didn't didn't practice because uh, I don't know if uh, my partner did understand the invitation. I don't know. Who is your partner? Uh, Anna, but I don't remember the last name. Uh -huh. I think Anna left. I think Anna had a, a problems because she left in the in the group. Okay. All right. Well, it's okay then. Thank you very much. We're gonna go ahead and continue. Okay, so we're pretty good. We have the idea. We are clear on how what we want to practice, say and tell. In this moment, we're going to begin with reading. So now the next activity, we're going to have cell phone etiquette. The pronunciation is etiquette, cell phone etiquette. So with your partners, we're gonna take a moment and read and make sure that you understand all of the vocabulary, all of the words and have a good ideas. This is for 5.11. The idea is looking at points of view, okay? So, do you use your cell phones? Do you use Yeah. Your... Yes? I use every day. Me too. Me too. For me, it's part of my life now. I use every moment. For me, it's for my work. But for yeah, me, it's yeah, not, not so work. comfortable. Okay. All right. And do you use the cell phone in public? In some cases. Okay. Yeah, That's... but I speak slow. Okay, that's the idea of etiquette. Where Depend do you of the place, with? teacher, maybe. Like in a restaurant? Yeah. Um, no, in, the, in, in my case, in the street, mm, I don't use. You don't use in the street? Uh -uh. Okay. Because I am afraid. Really? Yeah. Okay. okay. About the thief? Yeah. Mm hmm well, I scare the people for my toll. For me, it's easy to use when I talk, when I walk at the street. I feel but it's so. I don't. I don't talk. I, I, I'm short, very short. <laughs> yeah. <Little. laughs> you are very, <laughs> very big. Uh -huh. Just a little. Maybe for this. Maybe for this. Right. Okay. But for me, just I use in the street. If I walk, for example, for me, I walk to work and I walk back home. So, and my job is like, mm, like 20 minutes walking and I walk and then I come back and it's normal for me to use in the street, but I feel safe. But I think like Jonathan says, I think it's different for a man and a woman because for a man, yes, you are, you don't have to be tall, but you are a man, you feel more confident. Mm -hmm. And the woman, I they take the phone, I my phone, and that's it. Uh huh. Not, not ever, teacher. No, not ever, not always. Aunque yo soy peleonera, pero. I know. So there you go, Carla. Just you say, know. Just say, just say, hey. I know. Uh -huh. Jonathan and Asario. Uh huh. I see in your eyes. The fear. Right. Yeah. I think it's for the profession, for Carla's profession. You understand me? I think yeah. So. Yeah. In my case, this is the problem. Yeah. Take care. Okay. So what about you? What do you think about people that use their cell phones in the movie theater? It's correct or not correct? It's not, not correct. correct. Mm -hmm. Like to go with the children uh, when... They crying at the movie. It's not correct. Mm -hmm. Rules of etiquette. Yes, it's rules of etiquette. But yeah. the people, <clears throat> ¿Y dónde dice? ¿Y dónde dice? Ah, no hay ley. No hay ley. And then, mm, this is the problem. It's not a law, but it's etiquette. It's the correct way to act. Yeah, it's true. What about on the public transportation. What do you think of people that use it in public transportation? Ah, eh, por aquí voy. ¿Y dónde está? Ah, pues, eh. And, mm, yeah. What do you think? 
We can Other use teacher. We can use, but uh, yeah. we can speak slow. The conversation is between uh, us, you and I, not another. Okay. So yeah. not, not slow, soft. No soft. soft. That's yeah. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or maybe like Christina, right? Christina walking in the street and Christina, aha, uh -huh, ya buen camino. Esperate, pues, eh, ya, eh, espera, no me. Uh Hablar. Carla, okay. Carla can okay, speak no. soft. <laughs> Carla but can speak why soft. Why the people uh, listen the conversation? The conversation of the other people. Because the people are too loud. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, que tiene que saber la gente que ya te tienen lista la comida, que no sé qué, o sea. Uh -huh. Because mm. the, la gente habla muy fuerte. Yeah. For me, is the. I don't want to listen to the conversation, but if the people are loud, I, I am obligated to listen. It's normal to listen to the conversation. It's like reggaeton. Yeah. I don't like to listen, but if the if the bus goes with reggaeton, I I am obligated to listen. Yeah, I hate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Me too, extreme. Ah. So this is the idea. The idea is etiquette because before the cell phones didn't exist. And now that we have cell phones, we have a lot of different rules, regulations. Like when the people write, if they write with capital letter or lower letters, or have you seen sometimes in the messages in WhatsApp? Hola, tengo una pregunta. And then each one is a different message. Mm, this is what we're going to discuss tomorrow. So tomorrow okay. we're going to read the article and discuss and continue a little bit of review before we do our final exams, okay? Okay. It's okay. All right, guys. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.